Hey guys, so this is a 2020 3854 bonus room. So it's got the RV fridge in it, real similar to the 3855 I did last week, uh, other than the fridge. So it doesn't have a thousand watt inverter, still has a super nice outside kitchen. Uh, all the features are the same. I just wanted to show you the inside and make sure you stay tuned in about another week or two. Um, Keystone is going to release information of what the 2021 changes are and for one I can tell you that's going to change and some other things so keep your eyes peeled on my YouTube channel and I'll keep you up to date on that. This is the champagne furniture it's the lighter of the two. This has changed a little bit so the uh, desk is a little bit thinner. These are your daytime shades pulled down so you can still see out but the sun's going to stay uh, from penetrating through those. TV's out, obviously comes with that. Nice fireplace, got storage up above. I tell you, Montana is just absolutely gorgeous inside. All right, so the purpose of this video is to show you the residential, sorry, RV fridge. So usually we always stock the residential fridge, but uh, we've been selling through most of our stuff and the factory has been shut down due to this COVID whatnot. So here we are. We got the nice RV propane fridge. This is still 18 cubic foot, same size as the um, residential fridge. It just does not have the ice maker in it. There's some pros and cons to it. Um, I won't really go into detail there as, you know, they both do a good job. Here's your bonus room with the lighter interior in this humongous space. Again, plenty of room for three or four monitors in here if you use this remotely for travel. Plenty of storage. Storage, storage, storage. The nice new pendant lights. And the 12 volt fan. Your whisper quiet air conditioner system. So you got a max air fan here in the kitchen. It also is prepped for the third air as we covered in the last one. There's your electric for it, and it's obviously framed, so it's a, an easy setup. Got your central vacuum system on your main step with a motion sensor light. Here's the steps to get up into the loft, kiddo's room. So you got a nice outlet right there when you step into it, and light switch is very handy. You don't have to get up there and try and turn that light on. Just a nice cubby space. Heat and air up here. Step into your bathroom. You got the infamous toilet paper holder. Nice storage. Now here a lot of people ask why there's only storage here and not over here where the mirror is at. And I'll tell you. So imagine standing here. So this is maybe a foot and a half in distance. If you're standing here, you're trying to spit out your toothpaste with a cabinet, you're going to hit your head. So they went ahead and completely removed that. Stuck it to the side and just gave you a nice tall mirror. So it's just a convenience thing, right? There's your shower, one piece, plenty of linen storage. Your Dometic toilet, yada, yada, yada. Now let's check out the pantry, wardrobe, whatever you want to call that. King size bed. Nice memory foam cushion on top. Appreciate you guys all watching. If you could, please subscribe to the channel, especially for my new updates coming in about two weeks, maybe a week. Washer dryer prep. There's your second folding chair that goes down in the kitchen area. Motion sensor light. Built in hamper. Another wardrobe. Comes with a TV on a swivel mount. Whisper quiet up here in the living bedroom. Nice barn sliding door. Outlets all over the place in this coach padded backboard so you can sit up and read a book so again i just wanted to do a real quick overview of this uh rv fridge propane and uh again stay tuned for the next couple weeks please like and subscribe appreciate you being good fans you guys have a great day happy friday